All right, I'm getting up on the scales. Two twenty four point six. That sucks. Good morning, you guys. Thought I'd visit with you while I am doing my daily bike ride, my stationary bike ride, and tell you why I'm talking to you today. Um, a couple years ago, I had made a decision to get myself in really good shape, or as in as good a shape as I could get at my age. Uh, I'm about to turn 70 in three days. But two years ago, uh, I had gained weight, did not feel good about myself, how I looked physically, how I felt mentally. So, real simple, I changed my diet and basically stopped sugar. And man, when I did, the pounds just fell off. Uh, I went from 225 to my lowest was 191. And man, I felt great. I had all sorts of energy, blah, 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 blah. And then COVID hit. Now, I am not trying to blame COVID in any way, shape, or form for what I'm about to talk to you about, but COVID hit um, during the quarantine, not because of the unsurety and everything else and laziness on my part, I just started eating really bad again. And as of today, and you'll see it in the, in the video, uh, I am back up to 224 pounds and I feel terrible. Everything I eat, I have heartburn or indigestion. Um, I don't get around as good as I did. So I have made a decision today to get myself back into a good place. And I'm not in a good place now. So, I weighed a while ago, and you'll see uh, in the photo that I weighed, I think, 224 or something. Uh, I just reset my distance, um, my odometer on my bicycle to zero. And as of today, the sugar goes away, and I want you guys to follow my progress on a daily basis of, of what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you what I eat for the day, I'm going to tell you uh, what, I, what I've done that day work-wise or whatever. Uh, in, a, in a bit, I'm going over to install a air conditioner, a window unit in my workshop. I've already been to, to uh, Home Depot this morning and purchased a little window air conditioner. So I'm going to video that when I'm putting it in. And I want you guys to just follow my follow my progress. Again, it's been a it's been as for lots of people. It's been a rough year this past October. Right after we ate dinner one evening, I uh, I just started having excruciating pains, horrible stomach pains, to the end that I was screaming. I mean, <laughs> my wife thought something horrible was going on. Anyway, we went to the emergency room, and I was diagnosed as having a bad gallbladder, and it needed to come out as soon as possible. So. I had that out, and at that point, um, wasn't a bad recovery time at all. It was a, it was an outpatient type thing. That was in October. Then the first week of December, I woke up one morning feeling miserable. 
Uh, feeling that I can't really explain because I've never felt that way before, and it was COVID. I was testing positive for COVID, and it hit me hard. I have later la uh, found out that uh, I have what is called long hauler syndrome. I still have breathing issues a couple times during the day where I just force myself to inhale and then exhale. It feels like I can't breathe unless I force myself to do it. And then I have brain fog. Uh, now, look, I realize I'm about to turn 70, but my brain's always been pretty sharp. And I can be talking to someone now, or you guys on the camera, and just absolutely space out. And it's like, what am I doing here? What's going on? Who am I talking to? And it'll last several seconds and then I'll kind of get back on track. Um, anyway, a lot of that concerns me. Uh, and I've decided, look, whatever I can do to make myself a better person physically and mentally, I'm going to do it, so I hope you guys follow along with me today, starting today, and we'll get the daily prog progress of, of how I'm doing. And while, I, while I'm at it, I want to go ahead and let you guys know I'm, uh, I'm adding an additional YouTube channel. Uh, the name of the channel is going to be Singing for the Kids. For y'all that who have followed me, you know that I'm a musician, and anytime I play, I um, give what monies I make to Children's of Mississippi slash Blair Batson Hospital. Uh, it's a great, remarkable facility here in Mississippi, state of the art, and I've decided in my life I'm going to do what I can to help the kids so anyway that's going to be a new channel rather than putting anything about singing with the kids on my current channel which is master of nothing I'm going to utilize that for projects and hobbies and things that I do and I will uh, use the channel singing with the kids to get across and continue to fundraise for sick kids here in Mississippi. Um, with that said, I'm up to 1.2 miles. I'm going to try to do seven and a half miles, and uh, then I'll get back on with you guys when I start putting my window air conditioning unit in my workshop. Thanks for watching. And peace to everyone.